The Indianapolis Zoo is getting recognized again for its work to help animals and our planet. Patty Spittler is here to you by Pet Pals TV, along with Stewie, Stewie a famous Stewie. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about the biannual conservation prize right. recognized as the world leading award for animal conservation. This is amazing, and the Indianapolis oh. Zoo is... Uh, the one to give it out. Yeah, they're considered the number one conservation uh, proponents in the world. I mean, it, <laughs> yes, they are. And uh, he loves the zoo, too. Uh, it's just, I love what they do. Uh, Dr. Rob Shoemaker is the uh, CEO and the president now, and he has combined to get this conservation thing really, really mm -hmm. moving forward. Uh, and the it won't be until later in the year when, when Pablo gets to come here. Pablo Babor a glue is his name okay and he wants to help penguins not just live but thrive and the, the whole condition it's it's like if you have something it affects something else yes. so when when the land or the ocean or something gets upset it upsets the animals too so Steve Schweitzer did an interview with him oh let's take a look Congratulations, you are the 2023 Indianapolis Prize winner. What does that feel like? I, I really cannot describe what it feels because this is recognized as the most important, the most prestigious conservation award in animal conservation. Many of us were introduced to the plight of the penguin by the 2005 National Geographic documentary, March of the Penguins. But for the past 34 years, Pablo has worked tirelessly to protect them. I dedicate my life to protect the penguins of the planet. There are 18 species. They all live in the southern hemisphere. You can see some of these flightless birds at the Indianapolis Zoo. Pablo calls penguins an umbrella species because their very survival depends on the use of vast areas of healthy ocean. Penguins are very important because they are indicators of what is happening to our oceans, to the sea. So when we protect penguins, we protect the oceans. And the life on the planet depends on the oceans. To help raise awareness, Pablo created the Global Penguin Society. We have a huge education program to reach local kids to teach them to value penguins. We take them to visit penguins for the first time in their lives. And many of them, they live half an hour drive away from penguin colonies. Wow. wow. You just get enamored with it. I know. I love penguins. Don't you love penguins? I love them. And, you know, so often, you know, I often take my kids to the Indianapolis oh, yeah, Zoo yeah, yeah. and we go see all the animals, see yeah. the penguins. It's really neat because they are they have the see-through floor. You and then swim the swim underneath. And then the sides, too. So it's amazing. But it, when you go, you don't think about, wow, this greater work and awards that they're mm -hmm. helping fund. It's amazing. And as our environment changes, I mean, it affects. It's a domino effect. Boom, boom, yes. Boom. Yeah. So Pablo's doing wonderful things. It'll be later on this year. Of course, we'll take you there when we can. And you'll see more of Steve's story, she said. Uh, <laughs> coming up today at Pet Pals TV, he's got a really nice, just sit, get another glass of uh, coffee or maybe a mimosa, whatever, yeah. and sit down and enjoy Pet Pals TV. And it is at uh, 10.30 yes. a.m. And that, of course, comes after Great Day TV that's at 10 o'clock here after yeah. Wish TV. 